And she is a super good friend, been cutting her hair for, gosh, a long time now. Um, something about her, we just stay really close in touch with our families. We just know, know everything about our families and it's super special. So anyway, she is a sweetheart. I love her haircut and want to share with you. Um, she has a short pixie with some bangs. Um, and she is one that doesn't love a ton of texture. So it's going to be fun for you guys to see um, how we style her hair without a lot of texture. So today what we're going to do is start in the back with Judy. Um, she likes uh, her hairline just straight across here. And then what I'll do is I'll bring my clippers in and just make sure it's nice and clean. Now, she likes to wear it, she comes every three weeks. So she'll do a haircut um, the first you know, time and then in three weeks we do a color and a cut and then a cut and then a color and a cut. So um, up here, we're gonna take, you can see, see how my uh, shears are on an angle? Wow, it's long. <laughs> it's really long this time. What the heck? I think it's the heat. It must be, goodness. It's really long. So um, you can see that I'm taking about a half of an inch. Um, usually I only, only take about a quarter of an inch, but for some reason, this time... I think I had to adjust my appointment because of Morris's. Oh, that yeah, makes that's sense. Okay, you're right. I forgot about that. She did adjust her appointments. Um, her husband had an appointment that she had to change for. I forgot about that. That's yeah. right. So it is so funny when you cut somebody's hair for so long, <laughs> you literally know their hair inside and out. I was wondering why the heck it was so long, but that <laughs> is why. Okay. It all makes sense. But yeah, usually I know how much I take off, but when I held it up, I was thinking, no, we definitely need to, to take more. So that's why we are taking more. It definitely makes sense. Okay, so you can see I'm taking vertical sections. Um, how how I keep track of what you know how short to go is I add the hair from the previous section that I have done, and um, that is my guide point. And that's what I go go off of. And then I'll show you how, um, since I'm going down vertical, I will check it horizontal. Um, and then if there's any obviously longer pieces throughout that area, then we will find those and even those up. Okay, so by her ear, I'm gonna just hold this down. So you can see, I we do like it to go over her ear, so I don't go up around, so I just bring it into there and clean that up that way. Okay, now we'll start over here. How do you remember everybody's? Um, you know what? <laughs> I guess year after year, you know, it just sticks with me, but yeah. it, it really is funny how you do get to know your client's hair. She said, I don't know if you guys heard her, but she said, how do you remember everybody's haircuts and what they do and, and everything? So, yeah, I think it's just doing them over and over for years. But um, it is it is funny how you get to know that person, what they like, um, you know, just just their yeah yeah exactly what works, what doesn't. Anyway, it's it's definitely. Uh, a fun fun job I don't feel like this is my job I feel like I just hang out with my friends all day so so it's a good thing and now after my back surgery I'm not in excruciating pain when I'm done <laughs> so that's a good thing 
Yeah, I, I look back and think, wow, that was, that was a little tough. <laughs> a lot tough, I guess I should say. So you can see I'm coming up. You can see I'm about that far down from her ear, from the top. Um, and then I'll connect this in the front. Okay, now to double check to make sure everything is, is even, this is where I say go horizontal. So you can kind of come back in here, come up horizontal. If there's any little pieces sticking out, then you can get it. Now after we dry, um, I like to come back through this back area and make that a little bit tighter um, as far as like with my uh, clippers and my comb. And I will show you that just so it doesn't start poking out, especially on these edges when it starts to grow out. It just cleans it up a little bit. So I will show you that after we dry it. Okay, so now we're just gonna go straight across. I had one of my um, really cute, she was a sweet lady that come from out of state um, and she makes bracelets and all the things, earrings. She sent me some Halloween earrings um, in the mail after she had come. But anyway, I ended up getting this cute bracelet from her. So I just wanted to shout out to her. Thank you, I love my bracelet. It's super fun. Okay, so you can see I just went straight forward with that, straight across. Now I'm gonna come over by her ear and you can see how much I'm taking off. I just love to point cut. It adds so much, which is weird. You'd think that, um, you know, point cutting in, in shorter hair you wouldn't notice, but you totally, totally do. I've actually had my hair cut straight cut and it, it definitely is different than a point, point cutting. Okay, so you can see back here where I have trimmed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring her side up to that area. You doing good, Judy? Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you know this is therapy for me. Yeah. <laughs> See, therapy is good, right? Yeah. Oh. And she was a trooper. I'm like, can we videotape your, <laughs> your cut? Sure, well, sure. I come every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we can do. <laughs> Just do, yeah. Styling tips and all the things we should, right? Yeah. So again, same thing. I just come back to this area that I had trimmed before and just come straight down. And then I always like to come up in about a half inch in, quarter of an inch, um, and then just open and shut the shears. That way it doesn't get too bulky on your sides. It gives it a little bit more um, hair to piece out, so it's a little bit more wispy instead of super thick right there. And then the bang area, same thing. I come up and I take little pieces out of these bangs. Unless you're wanting a really thick bang um, that's more blunt, then you'll obviously just go on, on the bottom area. But where we like this PC and different lengths, that's why I'm coming in. So you can see I come in this way first, then I just kind of come in this way. Then what I like to do with Judy is after we're done drying, I like to come back through with her bang area if she needs a little bit. So you can see this is a little longer. See, I go like this and I still hold on to that. So we're gonna come up over here and just take this little area off. But that's what I love. After, after I dry it, I can really see, you know, the areas that need a little bit more cutting or um, texturizing as far as taking a little bit of hair out with this. She doesn't love a ton of, of texture. Once in a while with her haircuts, because see, it's, it's standing good on its own. Um, 
I think last time I did a tiny bit. Once in a yeah. long while, I'll do a little bit because her hair will really start to get flat. So I'll do a little bit, but she doesn't love a lot because she feels like um, she doesn't have as much hair. So she, she doesn't love it a lot. But when I can do this and see it standing up, so she's good. So we just keep going until it really lays flat. And then, then I help her out just a little bit. <laughs> we don't do a ton, but a little bit. Okay, this Kendra Extra Mousse, you guys, this is phenomenal. I love this. Um, and it's a good price. It's not going to break you. So um, it's Kendra Extra. And what that means is it's giving you extra volume. So you can see I'm really rubbing it into her hair good. You don't want to just grab your, your mousse that you're using and just do this and plop it on. Like really get it in good. That will help your hair, you know, have volume all over. And then of course I love my um, lift, my volume and lift spray. This will make it um, feel and look thicker. Okay, same thing. I'm just gonna rub that in. Give her a little massage with my nails. Ugh. Right? Isn't that the yeah, best? <laughs> okay. Now we are going to dry the back down. And then as soon as we're done drying, like I said, I will show you how I just take the bottom of her hair and go a little bit tighter. Just so um, when it comes out, it's not, it doesn't pop up. So you can see I'm moving my fingers back and forth. Okay, we're going to dry the side forward a little bit. Okay, back and forth. See, my left hand on your right side is going back and forth as I bring the Dryer around. Then it's about 80% dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my Epic brush. This is a new fun Epic brush. This one is um, a cute rose gold. And anyway, it's just a new color they have. I usually have black, but this one is super fun. So just back and forth. A lot of body and movement. Obviously, if you have curly hair, you won't want to move it back and forth like that. Um, the Epic brush works for every type of hair. Um, so if you have like thick curly hair, it will work. You just comb it in one spot. You don't go back and forth everywhere. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do show you guys I take a fine tooth blending comb okay and just gonna come in here I bring it in and pull it out you can see see I come in pull this out and just go up so it's a little tighter around these edges and you can see I'm just taking um, the clippers uh, vertical, just going up. Well, my comb's horizontal. And I just keep going straight up. You just have more control if you do little sections like this and go um, just straight up. I have a well, now I'm standing in front of it. Sorry, there was a little um, shadow from my window. So you can see how I'm just kind of keeping this bottom a little bit closer. Just helps so it doesn't poke out when it starts growing. Just makes it look like a cleaner cut. Just to keep that a little bit tight, you can see around that bottom. Okay, perfect. Now, the styling paste. 
This is from Sexy Hair. I like to just take a little, a little bit with my fingertip, rub it around, and then come up through the top, lift at it, like rub it in, and just grab. And if you're nervous to do a paste, because some people get really nervous with the paste, um, I recommend just doing some in your fingertips and kind of grab at it. Then you can add a little bit more until you're more comfortable um, with putting it in the hair just so you don't get too much and you feel like it's sticky and heavy. Um, that's what I would recommend. Maybe just starting out with a little bit and then just keep adding to. Okay, so I'm going to come to this front. Okay, so I can already see this side needs to be a little bit shorter. I'm just gonna come in, take that a tiny bit shorter. All right, now I'm going to back comb with my pin comb. Um, I like to just grab at the hair and then go in, down, and out. Okay, and then I will turn her to the mirror. Um, the other thing that I like to do is definitely not leave it looking like this, but I do like to spray it, and then I like to put it into place with my comb. Feeling better? <laughs> Especially where we waited in between. That's right. That's so funny when I'm like, wait, this is longer. This is longer. What the heck? Yeah, then I had to back comb it. Yeah, then you have to really back comb it and make it work. That's not uh -huh. fun. Okay, so I want to show you guys something. To me, this is too bulky right there, if you can see that. Okay, so if you come in, you take a little bit of hair out in between and come down, sorry, get that off your nose. <laughs> but there, I don't know if you guys can see, but that literally, just taking a little bit off makes it so it's not like one clumpy. Okay, I'm gonna hurry and look at her one more time before I spray. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. We are going to spray the spray I love. This is from Bedhead. It's the masterpiece. Um, this will hold your hair. It's not like cement, thank goodness, but it holds your hair really, really good. Um, you don't need a ton of it, you know, to weigh your hair down. Um, that's why I love an aerosol hairspray um, because it's light on the hair. So you don't need to overspray. This will definitely hold your hair. But Judy, thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. I hope you guys have a phenomenal day. And thanks for your support. And I will try to get to all your comments as soon as I can. Thanks, you guys. Have a good day. See ya.